think ever since Peace Corps, it was like, if you like really like something, you have to figure out how to make it yourself because like nobody can do it for you. And I just like knowing what it is that you're putting into your body. Like what are you eating? What goes into making what you really like? It's just that it's so like finicky with yeah. the like how you stir and how hard you stir and you heat it up to 90 degrees. It's always amazing to me how like 90 degrees sounds hot, but it's just like lukewarm. One time I was <laughs> making this and the thermometer I was using was not working. And I was trying to figure out what 90 degrees was by taking my temperature and like seeing if I could feel like <laughs> under my tongue if that was as warm as the milk. That was one that I failed at. You really only probably learn by failure. What you're doing is you're adding an acid to milk which is, you know, essentially curdles it but you want to have more control over it. So like whisking it in when you're pouring the milk is really important otherwise it'll curdle right then. And then stirring while you're doing this is just mixing it thoroughly so that it slowly curdles it. It's kind of cool because it really makes you think about who the first person that discovered how to do this. Like how did they do it? It's like mind blowing because it's just like you have to like heat it to a temperature and like do all of these steps and who like just by happenstance like figured this out. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> and that's how I think I get into like all of the stuff that I end up trying to make is just like pure curiosity. But it's also like fun to learn how to do new things. Like who knew that you could make your own cheese?